because uh, people have arrived for the next set of uh, appointments since we've got behind. Um, so uh, Eric Pawson from the um, Waitakere um, Eco Central Eco Sanctuary Eco Sanctuary Trust. Uh, thank you very much. We represent the Waitakere Eco Sanctuary Trust. Uh, this is Bruce White, our chair, and I'm Eric Pawson. Mm -hmm. And the basis of our submission is that we would like to see much uh, clearer leadership and clarity of direction with respect to the future of the uh, Taikaro Avon uh, River Corridor, the former red zone in the um, LTP. This would really help uh, groups like ours that have existed, uh, or whose projects have existed for some years to uh, deliver on the promise that um, is the red zone. There are uh, four brief aspects of this that we've uh, put in our submission. The first is we really do need uh, some uh, coordination and leadership on the question of a long-term co-governance structure to um, secure delivery of the objectives of the uh, River Corridor Regeneration Plan. As somebody who's been involved in this on and off for um, some years, it really is rather like um, dealing with a fog and every, or dealing in a fog every time I think that we're getting somewhere, uh, things seem to slip through one's grasp again. So it would be very helpful uh, to know how we're to secure uh, a process of decision making about long term governance. The second is adequate uh, funding for delivery of the plan. As we read the LTP, the first allocation of council funds is not for some years. Uh, we would like to see that brought forward uh, to indicate that council actually has a commitment to delivering on the objectives of the plan in the <coughs> River Corridor. The third is that we would uh, ideally like some clarity within council. This is a management point as to which senior manager has overall guardianship for the vision of the delivery of the plan. At the moment, it's uh, very hard to know whether you're dealing with engineers, planners, uh, people in the parks department, and uh, multiple middle managers rather than clarity at the management level as to um, who has responsibility and uh, where uh, groups like ours are to go. And the, the last point, the fourth point, is to respect the history of community engagement in the River Corridor, which produced the plan in the, um, in the first place. So the council staff work collaboratively with mana whenua and with citizens, uh, rather than presenting us with predetermined initiatives and plans that are put out for consultation. So those are our four key points. I think Bruce would like to add a few words. I was uh, going to um, emphasise the collaboration aspect, and I've been fascinated to listen to the Broadoaks uh, people uh, uh, talking about the, their wish to collaborate. Uh, so I won't go into that. I think you've heard enough about collaboration and the wishes uh, of the community in every way. But the, uh, the other thing I'd uh, like to talk about is uh, what is holding up progress and put to you that the, the central question around the, uh, the river corridor is what are the constraints that are holding things up? Because uh, we're now 10 years on from, uh, from uh, the, uh, the large quakes and there's a lot of groups have wanted to make progress and yet it just goes on and on. So I, I ask you, what, is, what are the constraints? What are the blocks? that are preventing progress, and let's remove those and work together. Happy to take questions. Thank you. Questions? <clears throat> Sam? Or in your view, what are the constraints? Uh, I'm putting the question to you. Yeah. Um, From uh, any observations, though? That the, the four points that we've made. Okay. So it's governance, no, it's lack that. of clarity with respect and to management, it's a certain amount of financial commitment, and it's, it's a question of engaging with us rather than presenting us with... We, we want to engage. Those four points. And for the project uh, we're talking about, it's a significant uh, piece of the red zone land, and it involves uh, the stock banks, it involves 
near Brighton Road and those sorts of things. We want to collaborate. We have the skill set ourselves uh, within our trustees to collaborate sensibly on a professional level. So that's what we want to do. And the sooner the better. That's very good. Thank you very much for um, making your submission and um, I'm hoping that we'll at least have a little bit of um, progress on the co-governance one very shortly. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so we're, we're down for a 15 minute break now, but um, we are 15 minutes behind schedule. So um, I'm just going to suggest that you take uh, um, five minutes